Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So Twitter has been an interesting place the last couple of months with Elon Musk at the reins. It seems like every day there's some news coming out of Twitter offices. And when I made my account, I was told Twitter has a main character every day that's trending. And your only goal is to never be that person. So that Twitter has made itself its own main character for probably two months straight. You know, I don't really know if that's a good sign or not, because certainly it means your website's active, but you know, maybe it's not a good thing that the website itself is what's the focus of so much ire. Now, all that aside, Elon Musk and his infinite generosity decided to take the heat off of the company and put it onto only himself by posting what may be the most divorced energy poll you've ever seen in your life by asking Twitter, should I step down as the Twitter CEO? And then adding a caveat of something like, I'll do whatever the results of this poll say. Now, that'll be linked in the description of this video because it just finished up this morning. And surprise, the results of the poll are that most people want him to step down as the CEO of Twitter. Now, a couple of things with this. First of all, why? Like, why would you even make this poll in the first place? Well, the, the rumor is that while he was at World Cup, he was basically talked down to by a lot of the investors for Tesla when he was trying to, like, pitch ideas for moving stuff out there and was told, listen, you need to get a new CEO in Twitter because this is embarrassing. Now, again, there is no confirmation of that. That's just... You know, a report has been made, which is basically journal speak for a rumor. Personally, I think it's because he's lost so much money. You know, he went from the richest man in the world to the second richest man in the world, which he's still insanely wealthy, but that's a big step down. Like from the moment he signed on at Twitter, I want to say Tesla's stock price has dropped by 30% or 40%. And like most of his wealth is in Tesla stock. So, yeah. He's probably seeing that number go down and, you know, might be sweating a little bit. Maybe that's part of his reasoning for not wanting to be CEO. And this is a way he can get out while making it seem like he's still this free speech absolutist he claims to be. As far as what's going to happen with this, you know, I think you're going to get three main reactions out of people. And it's not even like a political affiliation that's going to decide that. It's just your opinion on Musk is what you're going to, how you're freaking out. Though the first group is the Musk sycophants, like super fans of Musk. I've been seeing him already. Um, what's it? The quartering Jeremy Hambly losing his mind. I'll try and find one of his tweets to put in the description. You know, begging Musk to stay on and then asking him if he can become the CEO. Like imagine Twitter run by the quartering. Personally, I think that would be very funny. Um, as sad as I would be that Twitter will inevitably burn down faster with him at the wheel, a quartering run Twitter would just be too funny to pass up. You know, I will play violin as the ship sinks when the quartering takes over Twitter. Um, the other reaction you'll see is from people who are glad that this has happened. You know, Musk shouldn't be in control of anything, no billionaires should exist in the first place, which, fair enough. But the third reaction, which will be the most common, is basically people who say, who cares? Because, I mean, really, who cares? Like, whoever's in these corporate chairs, it doesn't really matter for the day-to-day -day operations of these companies. Musk is a weird exception because he so, like, wants to put his fingers in every pie, like, Beyond micromanaging, this is femto-managing that he's doing right now at Musk, or at, um, at Twitter. But, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to make any difference what bureaucratic corporate officer they're going to put in this chair. You know, Twitter just needs to make its money, you know, go back to working with advertisers to do this kind of thing. And yeah, you know, for some of y'all, you hate the sound of that because, oh, that just means you're going to make Twitter woke again. Which, first of all, it's ridiculous you use that word unironically. And secondly, yeah, that's how corporate works. You know, that's how advertisers work. They want a safe website so they can give you money. 
Shocker, I know, but maybe if you run an international company, you would understand how that thing works. You know, marketing and advertising. It's not just, oh, you got to be right. That means people have to give you money. No, sometimes you need to be safe, you know. But I know some people hate the sound of that. You know, they want the internet to be the Wild West. They want to be able to say anything they want with no sort of, you know, recourse. And for that, I say, go to 8chan. You know, there are places like that for you. Unfortunately, Twitter's not going to become one of them. And if it does, it's not going to be the same website you want it to be. So make your choice because that's what you need to do right now. Do you want a site that runs and looks as good as Twitter? Or do you want a site where you can say anything that's on your mind, but then you're going to be met with worse people? I don't know. But we'll see what happens. I'm sure that Musk is going to have a very funny response to this poll when he wakes up. And when that happens, I'll be here, and hopefully I'll see you then. So until then, y'all try to have a good day.